a competition called Utah Underwater Robotics Competition. It's really centered around the Sea Perch program. The kids here today have got a bunch of raw materials we've given them. And today they're here with a large robot that they built. It's controlled up top with a little remote control they built. And it's gone underwater to pick up a bunch of objects and compete. It's a great way to introduce kids to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And it's also a great way for kids to kind of get a feel for what engineers do out in the field and how how difficult and how easy and how fun it can be to be in that field. Uh, they learn a lot of things, a lot of scientific and engineering principles. They learn how to build basic circuits. They learn about uh, buoyancy. They learn about hydrostatic pressure. They learn about propulsion, engineering design. So they have to go underwater and open a door. Inside there, they have to pick up some rings. They have to drop off an, a sensor. And then they have to go outside and pick up plants. So they've got different arms and different um, ways of putting their motors on. That's where the engineering comes in, is really in the structural part of it and how they're going to go about processing through these different steps. So by the end, they're kind of like mini-engineers, and they're talking the same jargon that Dr. Truscott and I do. We're like, this is great. They're talking about buoyancy and density and awesome. At a national level, we're down a lot of engineers and scientists. We need more scientists. We need more engineers in college getting those kind of degrees. That's one of the reasons why we're here today.